Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the Dark Age. This time I have something really special to show you. It's a brand new map, which is this one being Skyhold. So actually if anybody has played uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, you'll probably recognize this map because that's where it came from. So now there are two Lord of the Rings maps on the server and now there are two Dragon Age maps on the server. It's like a war now. See, it's going to have to see who wins out, who's going to have the next map. Best uh, two out of three, I guess. I guess it should be three out of three that time, but... There's actually one other thing that I want to show you guys, and I don't know if it's in here yet. It might be in here. It's over here, maybe? Here it is. Here it is. New class called the Skirmisher. There's a couple uh, spawn rooms that don't have it yet, but if you ever want to use it and you can't get to it using the signs, just do slash kit SK. That'll give you the uh, Skirmisher kit. So we're actually going to play this. The, the way you get this class is... It is a free class. It's a free class, but there is a catch to it. To get this class, you have to do all the voting. So if you haven't voted, it'll tell you you have to do slash vote all. If you do slash vote all, it gives you the full list of things to vote for. And then it's like, there you go. You got it. But let's see what it does, actually. Let's see, there you go. All right, so Skirmisher, it's free. It has an iron sword. It has an iron chest and boots, leather legs, eight ladders, and it's the effects that really make this class. Oh, let's get that back. It has haste, saturation, jump boost, and if it's at full health speed. So this class does not require food. This class is always full saturation, never requires food. So it's a really interesting class to play, and as long as you have full health, you're going to have some a little bit of speed here. Let's see if they're, they're not active yet. They get active when you get in there. But uh, I'm going to run in and show you. We've already... Uh, have we broken? We have. We've already broken. We're going to start the Breach Gate. We're playing as the Red Templars this time versus the Inquisition. And whoops. I'm just going to hop in here. I'll start from the very beginning over here at the Breach Gate. So this is the Breach Gate. It's just a little little tower here. And this is the Majesty of Skyhold. This this map is ridiculously detailed. It's, it's pretty great. They took a lot of time putting this together. And it came out really great. There's a lot to do in here. And... It's actually not that big of a map. Uh, everything's kind of loading. Got some chunk errors over there, whatever. But normally the maps, they all the flags are within a 200 by 200 radius. Okay, first let me point something out here. When you first come in here, I don't know. I don't. I really, I really don't know what he's doing up there. Already in. You come here, you breach this gate, and then you breach this gate over here. Let's kill this guy. Someone else get him. Okay, I think someone else got him. Or you can go up here. So you go up here, and you just kind of go through where the doors and into the castle. But as I was saying, wait, we're, okay, I thought there was another guy over here. As I was saying, the, the map is really detailed, and it's in most maps are within a 200 by 200 radius for the flags themselves, all capturable flags. And then there's usually a little bit of play area outside that 200 by 200 radius. This is actually different. Everything that is playable is in with the 200 by 200 radius. So it's a smaller map, but not really because you have a lot of height play in here, like. You have this whole area over here, then you have inside all the buildings, uh, let's just go up here. They have inside all the buildings, then you have up on the walls, then you have towers, you have things all over the place to go. That guy's just, whatever, he's gonna go over there. It's a little confusing at first, I'll admit. I played a couple rounds on here. I have gotten lost, even though I did kind of help them put a little bit of this together, a couple portions. So I kind of knew the layout. I didn't, but I still get lost sometimes, but that's, it's really kind of my fault because I wasn't paying attention. It's really easy to understand. It's just a basic castle layout. If you've played uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, you already know how this is laid out because this is like almost dead on the same as the actual game. And there's, I want to show you some pretty interesting flags got up here. I actually really like how the flag system works up here. Normally you have just the normal flags or you have the banner flags, but there's, there's different flags up here and it's really cool. And it's not, it's not that big of a deal, but I, I'm making it a big deal because it's awesome. This right here. Oh, we already got, already got somebody here. These actually, whoops. These actually go in order all the way around as the flag. As you capture it, it changes the colors of the, uh, those are like raven's cages. In the game, this is like an area where the ravens are in there. So those are raven's cages, and you capture them as a flag. It's really cool. I actually, I didn't even think that was possible to do on here, but I guess it is, and it's it's awesome. But that's just one of the many flags on this map, and if you look on the sidebar there, there's map, there, not maps, there's flags all over the place. Actually, let's count them up. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's 14 different spawn points. Got to take away one of those because the original spawn point that we came from is not capturable by the Inquisition. So that's actually, that's 13 flags that the Inquisition has that we have to take. And since this castle is just so maneuverable, it makes it really hard to just get in there and take all of those because they can always flank you from behind. We don't actually have that many yet. They have the courtyard. I'm actually going to go up there to the, um, I forgot, I forgot actually which, what this one is called. I don't, I don't actually remember. There's two flags up here in, in this tower. One, one's, um, like halfway up and the other one's all the way at the top. But a lot of people don't always, where am I going? Where am I going? Okay. So I'm going to go, I want to, what I want to do is I want to go up here. There's other ways around. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. There's other ways around. But this is like the perfect spot to do it, because there's a ender chest right there, you just kind of go up, like this. The other way around is through the main gate area. Here's the flag that I was talking about that's like halfway up the tower, and then the other one we're going to go, we're just going to shoot up there, and we're going to go take this. Unless they already took it, which they might have already taken, because I don't actually remember what this one is called. We're going to find it. Might have actually been, no, I don't, it's not, no, no. No, nope, it hasn't been taken yet because there's still enemies spawning up here, and I, I'm kind of, I think I'm lagging a little bit. These frame rates are kind of down for some reason. I don't know what's going on with that, but we're going to go back up there. I think they have just taken it. Did they take it? Oh, I really need to know, I need, I need to learn what the names of these things are. So the Raven's Retreat is the one with the, uh, the Raven's thing. It's Grand Hall. Uh, not the Undercroft. I guess that would be the Inquisition Chamber, maybe? Because the Upper Castle... The upper castle is the outside one, I think. I don't know. We're gonna, we're, we're, let's try it. Let's see what happens. We'll try it and see what happens because we, we can spawn there now. Okay, so yeah. That, that one spawns you right here. This is the one that's from the outside because I'm pretty sure that the other one spawns you up at the top. Should spawn you at the top at least. And, um, no, actually, okay. Okay, so no, that wasn't it. All right. We'll figure it out eventually. We'll get it eventually. Oh, wait, am I capturing it? Oh, look at that. Okay, so I am capturing it. I was right. We're capturing this. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something right here though. Look at look at this. If you if you are a crossbowman and you want a very good spot to uh, kind of go out there and snipe people, check this area out over here. There's a there's a way up there. There's a, it's a secret way up there, but it's a really helpful way if you want to be a crossbowman. You can really keep people at bay. Crossbowmen play a huge role in this map. I mean they're not necessary to have, but they're if you have a crossbowman, this might be let me capture. Yeah, we got it. This might be one of the best maps to play it on. You have all of these high towers to use, and especially you're, if you are a crossbow, you are really useful at the very beginning of the match over there when they're still coming in through the gate. They're coming through the gate, and you're there sniping them just relentlessly. It's going to keep them off of those pressure plates and kind of make it hard for them to get in. But once they get in, you're going to want to retreat. And if you know how to get up on top of that building over there, like the, the main hall area, if you get up on the roof, you're going to want to go on the roof. That's the best place to be. But as of right now, I think there's only a couple people who actually know how to get there. This guy needs to die. These both, these both, these guys need to die. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up here because I'm I'm still playing like I'm using swordsman. I this is the first time I've ever used skirmisher because it's just as new as this map is. If not, I don't, actually it might be even a little bit newer. Where's where is he? Okay, the gun. They might be even a little bit newer. I don't. I don't know. I actually just noticed this class about two days ago, so it might have been here, and I just haven't noticed it yet. But I, I really don't know. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how to do this. I like. I'm. I'm still learning how to play this, so I don't know the best tactic to use. I always use swordsman, and I figured skirmisher is kind of close to swordsman. It just has a little bit, a couple different abilities to it, and um, I figured maybe it would be the same. But it is a little bit different. You can't rush. Like you can with swordsmen if you don't have the oh no, <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, oh, nope, 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 nope. I have teammates up here who can help me, help me, teammates, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Uh, I don't like this. This isn't good. Uh, they're gonna recapture this, no doubt. There is no doubt in my mind they're gonna recapture this area because now that they have the spawn point down at the bottom of the tower, it's gonna spawn them like inside the tower. So they still have already a head start. Assist killing him. So yeah, it spawns them like right, right, right down there as you saw before. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. It's 
spawns them right over there, so they could, they have an they have an advantage. We can't get out of this tower because they spawn in this tower. So it's really difficult, and I just died. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually gonna, I'm gonna stick the skirmisher class. I want to learn how to play this. I'm gonna show you how it works, even though it's really simple, and you probably already understand it. But uh, instead of going back up there where it's certain death, I'm gonna go somewhere else. It just kind of showed you other portions of the map. They're really cool. And for those of you who like secrets, actually, there are secrets in here. As far as I know, they're just not coded yet. So when they are coded, there are some pretty cool secrets that I saw when the map was being put together. I think a lot of people are going to like pre It's pretty cool. But I'm not going to spoil any of that because they're not my secrets to spoil. And I actually don't remember most of them are. I just remember seeing them. But we're just going to go around here. We uh, just went from the prison area. The prison area, if you go up the other staircase, it leads up into the garden area, which is like pretty close to the courtyard and where I'm going actually leads over to the undercroft area that leads like it goes straight up in, into the keep if you continue going up the staircases and I don't know who oh I don't think it, nobody has this one okay so we have this one now this is ours now all right let's take this hopefully nobody comes down somebody's coming down here let's just hide behind this wall oh no they were going up wait where are they oh I, I thought they were coming through the door I guess they went up the staircase just kind of whatever but this we can spawn here now uh we're doing pretty good for the amount of time we've been playing garden mage tower upper castle war room and west tower the tower is a little difficult to uh to capture especially when you get to the mage tower and west tower if you confine the enemy team to those two towers it's not a very good idea because they get stuck there and there's no like secondary way for you to get up into there to take the flags so they're constantly spawning in those areas and you can't get around them to take those flags so if you can take the tower flags first leave something like the courtyard or the grand hall maybe not the grand well i guess the grand hall will be all right or leave something whoops leave something like i don't know the garden and that way they can spawn there and it's an open area so you can continue you can flank them you can fight them did we capture this fully we did not what's going on what's going on what's going on it's gone. There we go. I thought somebody was kind of camping out over here. So capture something in here that's out in the open. Don't leave it to those two towers, which I've seen happen a couple of times already. People just, they, uh, okay. They just kind of, I don't know. They're like, oh, we'll just push them back to the towers and it'll be fine. It's not a good idea because you can't get in there. And they're eventually going to push you back or it's going to be a stalemate. That's the west tower over there, which is not really west as much as this one is. But this one, as you can see, is actually a bigger tower. Like, like around. Not like tall, but around. That's the mage's tower. They're pretty equal as far as how it's how hard it is to get in there. So I don't think it's a good idea to leave those to last. So I'm going to actually... Um, I'm going to let them take that because... Uh, nope, that's not going to happen. And uh, there's a staircase. I don't know if the staircase... I don't think the staircase goes up, so I'm not going to try it. I think this just leads to an upper area, like a upper floor, but it doesn't lead into the actual, uh, the actual tower. So I'll just go over here where all these conveniently placed ladders are, and the enemy that I didn't see is standing. And I guess nobody's gonna kill this guy. He's just gonna hang out up here. So maybe, maybe I'm gonna try kill him. Nope. Nope. There's there's too many up there. There there's too many up there. Where should we go? Okay, so they have the West Tower, the War Room, the Upper Castle. I guess maybe the War Room wouldn't be too hard to get. Uh, I don't remember exactly where that is, but it's up in here somewhere in one of these side rooms. Uh, branching off of the Great Hall. This is like this is like the hub right here. This is the hub. There, everything branches out from this area. So, uh, oh, there, there's the guy. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. Where is he? Turn the brightness up. They are, the shadows in here are kind of making things a little difficult. Turn the brightness up. There you go. That's the reason I had brightness on my computer down to like 25, so I can actually see who's an enemy now. That's that's helpful. So they're fighting it out over here. Uh, there's this. Was this the war? No, I don't think this was the worm. I forgot which one this one was. There's a flag in down here. Who, whose is this? Oh, okay, okay. I, yeah, this was the war room, I think, because this is like the war table. Pretty sure, pretty sure that's what it is. I don't remember. Even though I still kind of like think this is a chapel. I always thought this was a chapel. We'll find out though. When this goes down, we're gonna know what this room is. Pretty sure it's pretty sure it's the war room though. There's like no other options. I'm almost positive that this room is not the courtyard. I'm not not completely certain, but 
not the courtyard. It is the war room. All right. So we got the war room. Uh, they took the Undercroft back. I might, I might go back down for the Undercroft. They also retook the Inquisition's chamber. All right. They're 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 holding their own. They are holding their own. I don't know, I don't know about this.